different kind of free game as we get to the green and go to Coach's Corner. Coach Carl, uh, Coach Carlos, first and foremost, how do you feel now as opposed to how you felt after the game the other day? I feel 100% better. You know, we've worked out a couple of days. We've uh, did a couple of things that we talked about we needed to do. And so, you know, I, I go from – you know, disappointment or sadness or anything like that to being hopeful and getting ready to, uh, you know, gear back up and go real quick. So uh, I'm excited and ready to go. Did the guys today especially, did they seem focused? Because each of the guys I've talked to said, we have to focus on what we need to do in every single game this week. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of been drilled in them the last couple of days. I, I hope that they feel like that because uh, that's been an emphasis, you know, has been put on that. But in the same respect, I feel like there's been a little bit of freedom, you know, within that too. That they understand what they need to do, but they're feeling, you know, feeling light, feeling good, and hopefully we can go out and be loose and do these things instead of, you know, being tight and feeling, you know, pressured to, to you know, do the things we worked on. So I, I feel like we're definitely going in the right direction. And last question for you, how important was that first game this week? It's always important. Every game, you know. I mean, it's – you, you go out there to win. That's that's the whole purpose. So it sets the tone for everything that happens afterwards. And, uh, you know, I mean, you got to put yourself in the best position always. And that starts with going out and winning the first game. Can you hit the punch bag over? I can. Actually, make it. It's my, it's my, no, it's my pleasure. Well, yesterday we had a, or earlier this week, we had a conversation with them about having a, a whole week off. Uh, you know, we talked to some guys. It was the first time they had touched a baseball in over a week. And just talking to them about the mental approach, especially during practice, hey, timing's going to be a little off today. You know, legs might be a little tight. Um, we're not going to feel the same as we felt a week ago, and that's something that we're going to have to work through and not let it get to us mentally. So that was kind of our big emphasis this week is let's get back into the rhythm of things and, and get the get the timing of, of the swings back, of the throws, and everything like that. What was your impression of the week on day one? Obviously, you know, guys are not out of place or eventual days, different stuff. What did you see out of your game? Well, you, we obviously struggled. Um, I think we had 11 strikeouts, I believe. Um, 12. 12. Um, a lot of them looking, um, you know, we don't want to just say, oh, you know, we had a week off, so that's why we struck out 12 times. Um, so we did some stuff with two strikes this week, but, you know, overall I think it was a, a good game for us to see where we're at right now in the season and to see what we needed to work on for this week going into a big conference series against McMurray. No, I, th I, I think the last couple of workouts have been great. Um, we've we've changed up BP a little bit. Um, we we put some more emphasis on some of the game that we play, um, some of the Bogsy ball, if you will. Um, but, no, I, I think their energy and their focus has been good. You know, today being the walkthrough day, um, it was light, it was loose, but I still think we got a lot of good work in, and we're ready to go for this weekend. Well, it's been good, and I've been around this coaching staff for Too long, didn't you? 10 years. Um, I, I played slam. Both my brothers played slam, and then I played here, and now this is my third year out. Um, so, no, it's been, it's been really good, um, you know, learning a lot, um, growing. Um, but, you know, it's <laughs> true. But, no, it's, it's been good. It's been a lot of fun learning a lot about, you know, stuff even outside of the baseball aspect. Um, but couldn't ask for a better place. How did you guys go through this all season? Nervous. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. Well, I mean, it's it's so I I did it all the time throughout the fall, you know, in our inner squads and stuff. And obviously, if I get a guy thrown out at home, it's no big deal. But, um, <laughs> you know, when it's a conference game, it means a little that that run means a little bit more. So, um, it's a good learning experience. A little nerve wracking at first, but you know, it's. About which one? Which which one? Uh, the, the, uh, <laughs> the last part where you go into that coaching camp with you, with you guys for thirty days, and having guys start uh, all the way from the head golf. The only way you learn to do that is send them home. Yeah, I tell him every time he goes out there, he'll come in and ask me a question. I know he's nervous. I said, don't be afraid to make a mistake. If you send a guy, hey, and he gets thrown out, learn from it, but be aggressive. That's the way we play, and. Uh, it, it takes a lot off my knees, I know that, when he goes out there. So, uh, I'm excited for him when he goes out there. You, you love your coaching staff. I mean, you and I have talked about it numerous times. But uh, talk about how much your coaching staff helps you out. Well, I, I've told you this so many times. Uh, I mean, uh, this job, my job's easy because of these guys in here and Coach Mokery and Coach Keeney and Coach Sini, who all of us have been around each other for – you know, whether it's 10 years, if it's 20 years or, or 25 years, we've been around each other a long time, and we put up with each other. We get in we get in discussions, arguments w about players, about things to do, but we're all – we know each other so well that we know it, it's not going to walk out of this room. It's, it's part of what we do as a coaching staff. And I've told you so long, Carlos has been here. Carlos is that guy that's been my right-hand man for – for years here, not only here, back when my son was at Conley, I knew Carlos, and you know, I might tend to yell at a kid every once in a while, and I know Carlos will have my back to go talk to that kid. Uh, Carlos does a lot of things that nobody sees that means so much to this program. Having C-Rod in here as a guy that's played with us, played for both Carlos and I, you know, in the slam, he's been around us since he was like 14. He knows what we want. And he understands it, and he's he's learning, like he said, more and more about coaching. But he does a great job of uh, being the gopher. He does a really good job of that. He'll go for everything, you know, go here, go there, go do that, go get that. <laughs> but uh, he does a great job. And then obviously Clint and I've been together for so many years, and and we work, you know, hand in hand. So this job becomes easy for me as I get a little bit older. You know, I'm just past 50 now, and I'm I'm getting up there. So it's good to have these young guys to do all this stuff. For the record, he is older than me, so if you could have his birthday. You know. uh, okay, let's stop. Yeah, okay. <laughs> um, but kind of following up with what they said the last couple of days, I think it's about the same thing. Pretty, pretty cool way to go, pretty cool way to finish. I think we're in a good place right now, really, after the last two days. We, we, had, a, we had a rough spot. I mean, obviously, you can, you know, we've told the guys, you can make every excuse in the book right now. I mean, you, it's so easy to make excuses right now for where we're at injuries COVID, snow you name it we can make it and we just told him i said hey we got to make our mind to go out here and, and let's have fun let's enjoy the next four weeks but let's get all the little things done let's emphasize what we need to emphasize get everybody back healthy and move on because everything's in front of us the, the, our goals of the first of the year haven't changed we say trust the process the process is the same now it just got interrupted a few times it's the same thing. Our, our process is go get into the tournament, win the tournament, go to regionals, and keep moving forward. It's right in front of us. So we emphasized some things in the last couple of days out here in practice. I think we were loose. Uh, there wasn't any you know, yelling and screaming. It was like, here's what we need to do. Let's work on this. Let's have fun doing it, but let's get our work done. And I think after today, when they walked off today, I think we're in a good place. I'm excited about the weekend. You know, we're, we're still in progress. We haven't got to where we want to get, and there might be another stumble in the in the road. But I think over the next 12 games of conference, you're going to see a, a different team. I think you're going to see us getting ready for what we're really looking forward to, and that's the playoffs. Uh, just going to let you uh, – is there anything else you want to add? Are you, you freestyling? We freestyling? A little bebop? Yeah, freestyle. Bebop. Well, I'm not going to freestyle. I could talk about those brownies over there that, <laughs> that are awful good right now. We're just sitting in here. In our new office, watching the Masters, you know, you know, it's it's a pretty nice gig when you can sit in here after practice now and lounge chairs and and just sit back and relax and watch the Masters, eat a brownie, 
and uh, you know, get ready to go home and hopefully have a home cooked meal. I didn't say that, Suze. I didn't say hope. <laughs> I, I, I know you probably have it. Love you, dear. Okay. <laughs> I, I don't. That's all I gotta say. Looking forward to the weekend. Oh, yeah. Hey, go get my cardboard and my uh, jam box. <laughs> no, um, just to, like I said, I think we're all excited. I think we all are able to uh, wash away, you know, the issues and, uh, you know, refocus and, you know, just get to it. And, and to what was said earlier, I'm mean, just to piggyback on. These people are some of my favorite people in the world. You know, Caleb has been. Caleb is interesting. I like interesting people. Caleb's been interesting since he was 14 years old when, when he freaked me out just watching him be 14 and himself. But he was an interesting cat, and he had great questions. He had questions I didn't have the answer for. He, he is constantly looking to get better at whatever he's doing. And as a person, he is the same way. He, he's open and he's willing to – take in information and process things. He doesn't make up his mind right off the bat. And so I think that really helps him as a coach, too, because he doesn't get bogged down, you know. And, and Coach Boggs w likes to pretend like he doesn't have those qualities, <laughs> but he very much has those same qualities. So, you know, just to get on that and just have a love fest, you know, this is, uh, you know, if we're going to go through things like this, this is the best group to go with it because we're always ready to go battle together. Where's, where's my cardboard? <laughs>